On February 13th, 1976, Nigeria was rocked by a shocking and tragic event, the assassination of its head of state, General Ramat Mohamed. What made this event even more bewildering was that it occurred just 34 days after Mohamed had delivered a scathing critic of the United States at a meeting of the Organization of African Unity OAU. The circumstances surrounding Mohamed's assassination remain shrouded in mystery, but it is essential to delve into the political climate of the time. Mohamed's outspoken views and the events leading up to that fateful day to gain a deeper understanding of the tragic episode in Nigeria's history. To comprehend the context of Motola Mohamed's assassination, it is imperative to first understand the man himself and his leadership style. Motola Mohamed was a career military officer who rose through the ranks of the Nigerian army. He came into power on July 29, 1975, following a military coup that ousted General Yakubu Gowan. Mohamed's regime was characterized by a fervent commitment to reform and a desire to address the issue plaguing Nigeria at the time. When Mohamed assumed power in 1975, Nigeria was grappling with a host of challenges. The country was emerging from a devastating civil war, 1967 to 1970, and dealing with the economic repercussion of the conflict. Additionally, corruption and mismanagement were rampant, which had led to the widespread discontent among the Nigerian population. Mohammed's leadership was seen as a beacon of hope for a nation in dire need of stability and progress. Mohammed was known for his no-nonsense approach to governance. He launched an anti-corruption campaign that saw the arrest and persecution of several high-ranking officials accused of embezzlement and abuse of power. His policies aim to promote transparency, accountability, and social justice. Mohammed's leadership was characterized by a strong commitment to African unity and self-reliance, which would later play a pivotal role in the events leading up to his assassination. One of the defining moments of Motola Mohammed's brief tenure as Nigeria's head of state was a speech at the Organization of African Unity OAU meeting in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia on January 11, 1976. In this speech, Mohammed delivered a blistering critique of the United States, which was seen by many as a bold and provocative move. In his speech, Mohammed condemned the United States for its policies particularly his support for colonialism and apartheid regimes in Africa. He accused the U.S. of being an impediment to African liberation and self-determination. Mohammed's words resonate with many African leaders who shared his concerns about American influence in the region. Mohammed's speech drew mixed reactions from the international community while it was lauded by African leaders who supported his stance. It was met with discomfort and criticism from the United States and its allies. The US government viewed Mohammed's remarks as an affront to its foreign policy objectives in Africa, which included maintaining access to strategic resources and containing the spread of communism. Following his speech at the OAU meeting, Motola Mohammed returned to Nigeria where his words continued to reverberate on the international stage. Mohammed's criticism of the United States strained diplomatic relations between Nigeria and the US. The American government expressed its displeasure with Mohammed's remark and conveyed its concern about Nigeria's alignment with Soviet and Chinese interests. This tension added to the complex geopolitical dynamics of this time. 
why Mohammed's speech earned him international recognition and admiration for some quarters. It also generated domestic controversy. Some Nigerian question whether his outspoken criticism of the United States was in the best interest of the nation, particularly in light of Nigeria's economic dependence on Western aid and trade. On the morning of February 13, 1976, Motola Mohammed was assassinated in a brazen and brutal attack while on his way to work in Lagos. The details of the assassination are still subject to speculation and debate, but several key factors are worth considering. Mohammed's motorcade was ambushed by a group of armed men who sprayed his car with bullets. He was fatally wounded in the car attack and died on the way to the hospital. The assailants, who were dressed in military uniforms, managed to escape the scene. The motive behind Mohammed's assassination remained a subject of speculation. Some theories suggest that it may have been a result of internal power struggle within the military or a response to his anti-corruption campaign. Other points to foreign involvement, possibly in retaliation for his criticism of the United States. The assassination of Motola Mohammed had profound implications for Nigeria and the wider African continent. Mohammed's death left a leadership vacuum in Nigeria at a critical time. His progressive policies and vision for the nation were cut short, and his successor, General Lushegun Obasanjo, faced the daunting task of continuing Mohammed's reform agenda. Mohammed's assassination had a lasting impact on Nigeria's foreign relations. The tension between Nigeria and the United States persisted for some time, and it underscored the complexities of aligning with global superpowers while pursuing an independent foreign policy in Africa. Despite his untimely demise, Motola Mohammed's commitment to African unity and self-determination left a lasting legacy. His speech at the OAU meeting served as a catalyst for discussion on Afghan liberation and the need to resist external interference in the continent's affairs. The assassination of Motola Mohammed remains a tragic and enigmatic chapter in Nigeria's history. It occurred just 34 days after he delivered his cutting critic of the United States at the OAU meeting, raising questions about possible motives and external involvement. Mohammed's leadership and vision for Nigeria were cut short, leaving a nation in mourning and uncertainty. Why the circumstances surrounding his assassination may never be fully resolved, the impact of his words and action continue to resonate in Nigeria and across Africa, serving as a reminder of the complexities of leadership, geopolitics and the pursuit of justice on the continent. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment and share this video. See you guys next time.